Surah 2, The Cow. Alm Almighty, loving, merciful. This is the book, in it is guidance sure, without doubt, to those who fear the I Am. Who believe in the unseen, are steadfast in prayer, and spend out of what we have provided for them. And who believe in the revelation sent to thee, and sent before thy time, and in their hearts have the assurance of the hereafter. They are on true guidance from their Lord, and it is these who will prosper, survive. As to those who reject faith, it is the same to them whether thou warn them or do not warn them, they will not believe. The I Am hath set a seal on their hearts and on their hearing, and on their eyes as a veil, great as the penalty they incur. Of the people there are some who say, We believe in the I Am and the last day, but they do not really believe. Fain would they deceive God and those who believe, but they only deceive themselves, and realize it not. In their hearts is a disease, and God has increased their disease, and grievous is the penalty they incur, because they are false to themselves. When it is said to them, Make not mischief on the earth, they say, Why, we only want to make peace, of a surety, they are the ones who make mischief, but they realize it not. When it is said to them, Believe as the others believe, they say. Shall we believe as the fools believe? Nay, of a surety they are the fools, but they do not know. When they meet those who believe, they say. We believe, but when they are alone with their evil ones, they say. We are really with you, we were only jesting. God will throw back their mockery on them cross-reference, Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that, shall he also reap. End of cross-reference. And give them rope in their tresses, so they will wander like blind ones to and fro. These are they who have bartered guidance for error, but their traffic is profitless, and they have lost true direction, their similitude is that of a man who kindled a fire, when it lighted all around him, God took away their light and left them in utter darkness. So they could not see. Deaf, dumb, and blind, they will not return to the way. Or, another similitude, is that of a rain-laden cloud from the sky, in it are zones of darkness, and thunder and lightning, they press their fingers in their ears to keep out the stunning thunderclap, the while they are in terror of death. But the I am is ever round the rejecters of faith. The lightning all but snatches away their sight, every time the light helps them, they walk therein, and when the darkness grows on them, they stand still. And if God willed, he could take away their faculty of hearing and seeing, for God hath power over all things. O ye people! Adore your guardian Lord, who created you and those who came before you, that ye may have the chance to learn righteousness, who has made the earth your couch, and the heavens your canopy, and sent down rain from the heavens, and brought forth therewith fruits for your sustenance, then set not up rivals unto the I am when ye know the truth. And if ye are in doubt as to what we have revealed from time to time to our servant, then produce a surah like thereunto, and call your witnesses or helpers, if there are any, besides God, if your doubts are true. But if ye cannot and of a surety ye cannot then fear the fire whose fuel is men and stones cross-reference, Enoch chapter 10 verse 7. Throw upon him hurled and pointed stones covering him with darkness. End of cross-reference. Which is prepared for those who reject faith. But give glad tidings to those who believe and work righteousness, that their portion is gardens, beneath which rivers flow. Every time they are fed with fruits therefrom, they say. Why, this is what we were fed with before, for they are given things in similitude, and they have therein companions pure and holy, and they abide therein forever. God disdains not to use the similitude of things, lowest as well as highest. Those who believe know that it is truth from their Lord but those who reject faith say. What means the I am by this similitude? 
By it he causes many to stray, and many he leads into the right path, but he causes not to stray, except those who forsake the way, those who break God's covenant after it is ratified, and who sunder what God has ordered to be joined, and do mischief on earth, these cause loss only to themselves. How can ye reject the faith in God, seeing that ye were without life, and he gave you life, then will he cause you to die, and will again bring you to life, and again to him will ye return? It is he who hath created for you all things that are on earth, moreover his design comprehended the heavens, for he gave order and perfection to the seven firmaments, and of all things he hath perfect knowledge. Behold, thy Lord said to the angels, I will create a vicegerent on earth. They said, Wilt thou place therein one who will make mischief therein and shed blood? Whilst we do celebrate thy praises and glorify thy holy name, he said, I know what ye know not. And he taught Adam the nature of all things, then he placed them before the angels, and said, Tell me the nature of these if ye are right. They said, Glory to thee, of knowledge we have none, save what thou hast taught us, in truth it is thou who art perfect in knowledge and wisdom. He said, O Adam, tell them their natures. When he had told them, God said, did I not tell you that I know the secrets of heaven and earth, and I know what ye reveal and what ye conceal? And behold, we said to the fallen angels, Bow down to Adam, and you bowed down. Cross reference, Luke chapter 9, verse 55. But he turned, and rebuked them, and said, Ye know not what kind of spirit ye are of. End of cross reference. Not so Iblis Lucifer, he refused and was haughty, he was of those who reject faith. We said, O Adam, dwell thou and thy wife in the garden and eat of the bountiful things therein, as where and when ye will, but approach not this tree, or ye run into harm and transgression. Then did Satan make them slip from the garden, and get them out of the state of joy in which they had been. We said, Get ye down, all ye people, with enmity between yourselves. On earth will be your dwelling place and your means of livelihood, for a time, then learned Adam from his Lord words of inspiration, and his Lord turned towards him, for he is oft returning, most merciful. We said, Get ye down all from here, and if, as is sure, there comes to you guidance from me, whosoever follows my guidance, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve cross-reference, John chapter 11 verse 25. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection, and the life, he that believeth me, though he were dead under God's death sentence for treason, yet shall he live be pardoned. End of cross-reference. But those who reject faith and belie our signs, they shall be companions of the fire, they shall abide therein cross-reference, Matthew chapter 8 verse 22. But Jesus said unto him, Follow me, and let the dead those under God's death sentence for treason bury their dead. End of cross-reference. O children of Israel, call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you, and fulfill your covenant with me as I fulfill my covenant with you, and fear none but me. And believe in what I reveal, confirming the revelation which is with you, and be not the first to reject faith therein, nor sell my signs for a small price and fear me, and me alone. And cover not truth with falsehood, nor conceal the truth when ye know what it is and be steadfast in prayer, practice regular charity, and bow down your heads with those who bow down in worship. Do ye enjoin right conduct on the people, and forget to practice it yourselves, and yet ye study the scripture? Will ye not understand? Nay, seek the I am's help with patient perseverance and prayer. It is indeed hard, except to those who bring a humble spirit, who bear in mind the certainty that they are to meet their Lord, and that they are to return to Him. Children of Israel, call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you, and that I preferred you to all others for my message. Then guard yourselves against a day when one soul shall not avail another nor shall intercession be accepted for it, nor shall compensation be taken from it, nor shall anyone be helped from outside. And remember, we delivered you from the people of Pharaoh.
They set you hard tasks and punishments, slaughtered your sons and let your women folk live, therein was a tremendous trial from your Lord. And remember we divided the sea for you and saved you and drowned Pharaoh's people within your very sight. And remember we appointed forty nights for Moses, and in his absence ye took the calf for worship, and ye did grievous wrong. Even then we did forgive you, there was a chance for you to be grateful. And remember we gave Moses the scripture and the criterion between right and wrong the Torah. There was a chance for you to be guided aright. And remember Moses said to his people, O oh my people! Ye have indeed wronged yourselves by your worship of the calf, so turn in repentance to your Maker, and slay yourselves the wrongdoers, that will be better for you in the sight of your Maker. Then he turned towards you in forgiveness, for he is oft returning, most merciful. And remember ye said, O oh Moses! We shall never believe in thee until we see God manifestly, but ye were dazed with thunder and lighting even as ye looked on. Then we raised you up after your death reincarnation, ye had the opportunity to be grateful. And we gave you the shade of clouds and sent down to you manna and quails, saying, Eat of the good things we have provided for you, but they rebelled, to us they did no harm, but they harmed their own souls. And remember we said, Enter this town, and eat of the plenty therein as ye wish, but enter the gate with humility, in posture and in words, and we shall forgive you your faults and increase the portion of those who do good. But the transgressors changed the word from that which had been given them, so we sent on the transgressors a plague from heaven, for that they infringed our command repeatedly. And remember Moses prayed for water for his people, we said. Strike the rock with thy staff, then gushed forth therefrom twelve springs. Each group knew its own place for water. So eat and drink of the sustenance provided by God, and do no evil nor mischief on the face of the earth. And remember ye said, O Moses, we cannot endure one kind of food always, so beseech thy Lord for us to produce for us of what the earth groweth, its pot herbs, and cucumbers, its garlic, lentils, and onions. He said, Will ye exchange the better for the worse? Go ye down to any town, and ye shall find what ye want. They were covered with humiliation and misery, they drew on themselves the wrath of God. This because they went on rejecting the signs of God and slaying his messengers without just cause. This because they rebelled and went on transgressing. Those who believe the Quran, and those who follow the Jewish scriptures, and the Christians and the Sabians, any who believe God and in the last day, and work righteousness, shall have their reward with their Lord, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. And remember we took your covenant and we raised above you the towering height of Mount Sinai, saying, Hold firmly to what we have given you and bring always to remembrance what is therein. Perhaps ye may fear God cross-reference, Malachi chapter 4 verse 4 to 6. Remember ye and return to the law of Moses my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the IAM Surah 43 and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. End of cross-reference. Revelation chapter 14 verse 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts, and the elders, and no man could learn that song except the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. End of cross-reference. And chapter 15 verse 3. And they sing the song of Moses the servant of God. And the song of the Lamb new covenant, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of the holy people. End of cross-reference. But ye turned back thereafter, had it not been for the grace and mercy of God to you, ye had surely been among the lost. And well ye knew those amongst you who transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath. We said to them, 
be apes, despised and rejected, so we made it an example to their own time and to their posterity, and a lesson to those who fear the I Am. And remember Moses said to his people, God commands that ye sacrifice a heifer. They said, Mockest thou laughing stock of us? He said, God save me from being an ignorant fool. They said, Beseech on our behalf thy Lord to make plain to us what heifer it is. He said, he says, The heifer should be neither too old nor too young, but of middling age. Now do what ye are commanded. They said, Beseech on our behalf thy Lord to make plain to us her color. He said, he says, a fawn-colored heifer, pure and rich in tone, the admiration of beholders. They said, Beseech on our behalf thy Lord to make plain to us what she is, to us are all heifers alike. We wish indeed for guidance, if God wills. He said, He says, a heifer not trained to till the soil or water the fields, sound and without blemish. They said, Now hast thou brought the truth. Then they offered her in sacrifice, but not with goodwill. Remember ye slew a man and fell into a dispute among yourselves as to the crime. But God was to bring forth what ye did hide. So we said, Strike the body with a piece of the heifer, thus God bringeth the dead to life and showeth you his signs. Perhaps ye may understand. Thenceforth were your hearts hardened, they became like a rock and even worse in hardness. For among rocks there are some from which rivers gush forth, others there are which when split asunder send forth water, and others which sink for fear of the I Am. And the I Am is not unaware of what ye do. Can ye, O ye men of faith, entertain the hope that they will believe in you, seeing that a party of them heard the word of God, and perverted it knowingly after they understood it? Behold, when they meet the men of faith, they say, We believe. But when they meet each other in private, they say, Shall you tell them what God hath revealed to you, that they may engage you in argument about it before your Lord, do ye not understand their aim? Know they not that God knoweth what they conceal and what they reveal? And there are among them illiterates, who know not the book, but see therein their own desires, and they do nothing but conjecture. Then woe to those who write the book with their own hands, and then say, this is from God, to traffic with it for a miserable price. Woe to them for what their hands do right, and for the gain they make thereby. And they say, The fire shall not touch us but for a few numbered days, say. Have ye taken a promise from God, for he never breaks his promise? Or is it that ye say of God what ye do not know? Nay, those who seek gain in evil, and are girt round by their sins, they are companions of the fire. Therein shall they abide forever. But those who have faith and work righteousness, they are companions of the garden. Therein shall they abide forever. And remember we took a covenant from the children of Israel to this effect, worship none but the I Am, treat with kindness your parents and kindred, and orphans and those in need, speak fair to the people, be steadfast in prayer, and practice regular charity. Then did ye turn back, except a few among you, and ye backslide even now. And remember we took your covenant to this effect. Shed no blood amongst you, nor turn out your own people from your homes, and this ye solemnly ratified, and to this ye can bear witness. After this it is ye, the same people, who slay among yourselves, and banish a party of you from their homes, assist their enemies against them, in guilt and rancor, and if they come to you as captives, ye ransom them, though it was not lawful for you to banish them. Then is it only a part of the book Torah that ye believe in, and do ye reject the rest? But what is the reward for those among you who behave like this except disgrace in this life, and on the day of judgment they shall be consigned to the most grievous penalty? For God is not unaware of what ye do. These are the people who buy the life of this world at the price of the hereafter, their penalty shall not be lightened nor shall they be helped. We gave Moses the book Torah and followed him up with a succession of apostles, we gave Jesus the son of Mary clear signs and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit Christ. 
Is it that whenever there comes to you an apostle with what ye yourselves desire not, ye are puffed up with pride, some ye called impostors, and others ye slay? They say, Our hearts are the wrappings which preserve God's word, we need no more, nay, the I am's curse is on them for their blasphemy. Little it is that they believe. And when there comes to them a book from God, confirming what is with them, although from of old they had prayed for victory against those without faith, when there comes to them that which they should have recognized, they refuse to believe it but the curse of God is on those without faith. Miserable is the price for which they have sold their souls, in that they deny the revelation which God has sent down, in insolent rejection that God, from his grace, should send it to any of his servants that it pleases him to as is his right, thus have they drawn on themselves wrath upon wrath. And humiliating is the punishment of those who reject faith. When it is said to them, Believe in what God hath sent down, they say, We believe in what was sent down to us, yet they reject all besides, even if it be truth confirming what is with them. Say, Why then have ye slain the prophets of God in times gone by, if ye did indeed believe? There came to you Moses with clear signs, yet ye worshipped the calf even after that, and ye did behave wrongfully. And remember we took your covenant and we raised above you the towering height of Mount Sinai, saying, Hold firmly to what we have given you, and hearken to the law, they said. We hear, and we disobey, and they had to drink into their hearts of the taint of the calf because of their faithlessness. Say, Vile indeed are the behests of your faith if ye have any faith, say. If the last home, with God, be for you specially, and not for anyone else, then seek ye for death, if ye are sincere. But they will never seek for death, on account of the sins which their hands have sent on before them. And God is well acquainted with the wrongdoers. Thou wilt indeed find them, of all people, most greedy of life, even more than the idolaters, each one of them wishes he could be given a life of a thousand years, but the grant of such life will not save him from do punishment. For God sees well all that they do. Say, whoever is an enemy to Gabriel, for he brings down the revelation to thy heart by God's will, a confirmation of what went before, and guidance and glad tidings for those who believe, whoever is an enemy to God and his angels and apostles, to Gabriel and Michael cross-reference, Daniel chapter 12 verse 1. And at that time shall Michael the archangel stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book of life. End of cross-reference. Revelation chapter 12 verse 7. And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon Lucifer, and the dragon fought and his angels. End of cross-reference. Lo! God is an enemy to those who reject faith. We have sent down to thee manifest signs and none reject them but those who are perverse. Is it not the case that every time they make a covenant, some party among them throw it aside? Nay, most of them are faithless. And when there came to them an apostle from God, confirming what was with them, a party of the people of the book threw away the book of God behind their backs, as if it had been something they did not know. They followed what the evil ones gave out falsely against the power of Solomon, the blasphemers were, not Solomon, but the evil ones, teaching men magic, and such things as came down at Babylon to the angels Harut and Marut. But neither of these taught anyone such things without saying, We are only for trial, so do not blaspheme. They learned from them the means to sow discord between man and wife. But they could not thus harm anyone except by God's permission. And they learned what harmed them, not what profited them. And they knew that the buyers of magic would have no share in the happiness of the hereafter. And vile was the price for which they did sell their souls, if they but knew. If they had kept their faith and guarded themselves from evil, far better had been the reward from their Lord, if they but knew. O ye of faith! 
Say not to the messenger words of ambiguous import, but words of respect, and hearken to him, to those without faith is a grievous punishment. It is never the wish of those without faith among the people of the book, nor of the pagans, that anything good should come down to you from your Lord. But God will choose for his special mercy whom he will, for the I am as Lord of grace abounding. None of our revelations do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we substitute something better or similar, knowest thou not that God hath power over all things? Knowest thou not that to God belongeth the dominion of the heavens and the earth? And besides him ye have neither patron nor helper. Would ye question your messenger as Moses was questioned of old? But whoever changeth from faith to unbelief, hath strayed without doubt from the equal way. Quite a number of the people of the book wish, from selfish envy, after the truth hath become manifest unto them, that they could turn you people back to infidelity after ye have believed, but forgive and overlook, till God accomplish his purpose for God hath power over all things. And be steadfast in prayer and regular in charity, and whatever good ye send forth for your souls before you, ye shall find it with God. For God sees well all that ye do. And they say, None shall enter paradise unless he be a Jew or a Christian, those are their vain desires. Say, Produce your proof if ye are truthful, nay, whoever submits his whole self to God and is a doer of good, he will get his reward with his Lord, on such shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. The Jews say, The Christians have not to stand upon, and the Christians say, the Jews have not to stand upon, yet they profess to study the same book. Their words are like what those people who do not know say, but God will judge between them in their quarrel on the day of judgment. And who is more unjust than he who forbids that in places for the worship of God, God's name should be celebrated, whose zeal is, in fact, to ruin them? It was not fitting that such should themselves enter them except in fear. For them there is nothing but disgrace in this world, and in the world to come, an exceeding torment. To God belong the east and the west, wheresoever ye turn, there is the presence of God. For God is all-pervading, all-knowing. They say, God hath begotten a human son. Glory be to him, nay, to him belongs all that is in the heavens and on earth, everything renders worship to him. To him as do the primal origin of the heavens and the earth, when he decreeth a matter, he saith to it. Be, and it is. Say those without knowledge. Why speaketh not God unto us? Or why cometh not unto us a sign? So said the people before them words of similar import. Their hearts are alike. We have indeed made clear the signs unto any people who hold firmly to faith in their hearts. Verily we have sent thee in truth as a bearer of glad tidings and a warner, but of thee no question shall be asked of the companions of the blazing fire. Never will the Jews or the Christians be satisfied with thee unless thou follow their form of religion. Say, the guidance of God, that is the only guidance, wert thou to follow their desires after the knowledge which hath reached thee, then wouldst thou find neither protector nor helper against God. Those to whom we have sent the book study it as it should be studied. They are the ones that believe therein. Those who reject faith therein, the loss is their own. O children of Israel, call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you, and that I preferred you to all others for my message. Then guard yourselves against a day when one soul shall not avail another, nor shall compensation be accepted from it nor shall intercession profit it nor shall anyone be helped from outside. And remember that Abraham was tried by his Lord with certain commands, which he fulfilled. He God said, I will make thee an example to the nations. He pleaded, and also examples from my offspring. He God answered. But my promise is not within the reach of evil doers. Remember we made the house a place of assembly for men and a place of safety and take ye the station of Abraham Mount. 
Moriah, as a place of prayer and we covenanted with Abraham and Isaac, that they should sanctify my house for those who compass it round, or use it as a retreat, or bow, or prostrate themselves there, in prayer. And remember Abraham said, My Lord, make this a city of peace, Jeru, Salem, in Hebrew, and feed its people with fruits, such of them as believe God and in the last day. He said, Yea, and such as reject faith, for a while will I grant them their pleasure, but will soon drive them to the torment of fire, an evil destination indeed. And remember Abraham and Isaac raised the foundations of the house with this prayer. Our Lord, accept this service from us. For thou art the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Our Lord, make us true in faith, bowing to thy will, and of our progeny a people true in faith, bowing to thy will, and show us our place for the celebration of due rights and turn unto us in mercy, for thou art the oft returning, most merciful. Our Lord, send amongst them a messenger of their own, who shall repeat thy signs to them and instruct them in scripture and wisdom, and sanctify them. For thou art the Almighty, the wise, and who turns away from the religion of Abraham except such as debase their souls with folly. Him we chose and rendered pure in this world, and he will be in the hereafter in the ranks of the righteous. Behold, his Lord said to him, Yield thy will to me. He said, I yield my will to the Lord and cherisher of the universe, and this was the legacy that Abraham left to his sons, and so did Jacob, O oh my sons. God hath chosen the faith for you, then die not except in the faith trust in God's will, were ye witnesses when death appeared before Jacob. Behold, he said to his sons, What will ye worship after me? They said, we shall worship thy God and the God of thy fathers, of Abraham, Ishmael and Isaac, the one true God. To him we yield our wills. That was a people that hath passed away. They shall reap the fruit of what they did, and ye of what ye do. Of their merits there is no reference in your case. They say, Become Jews or Christians if ye would be guided to salvation, say thou. Nay. I would rather, the religion of Abraham the true, and he joined not gods with God, say ye. We believe in God, and the revelation given to us, and to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and the tribes of Israel, and that given to Moses and Jesus, and that given to all prophets from their Lord, we make no difference between one and another of them. And we yield our wills to God's will, as they all said and did. So if they believe as ye believe, they are indeed on the right path, but if they turn back, it is they who are in schism, but God will suffice thee as against them, and he is the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Our religion is the baptism of God, and who can baptize better than God? And it is he whom we worship. Say, will ye dispute with us about God, seeing that he is our Lord and your Lord, that we are responsible for our doings and ye for yours, and that we are sincere in our trust in him? Or do ye say that Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob and the twelve tribes were Jews or Christians, say? Do ye know better than God, ah, who is more unjust than those who conceal the testimony they have from God? But God does not unaware of what ye do. That was a people that hath departed from the way. They shall reap the fruit of what they did, and ye of what ye do. Of their merits there is no reference in your case. The fools among the people will say, What hath turned them from Abraham's sacrifice at which they were used to quibbling, say? To God belong both east and west. He guideth whom he will to the way that is straight, thus, have we made of you a people justly balanced, that ye might be witnesses over the nations, and the messenger a witness over yourselves and we appointed the sacrifice to which thou wast used, only to test those who followed the messenger from those who would turn on their heels from the faith. Indeed it was a change momentous, except to those guided by God. And never would God make your faith of no effect. For God is to all people most surely full of kindness, most merciful. We see the turning of thy face for guidance to the heavens. 
Now shall we turn thee to a sacrifice that shall please thee. Turn thy face in the direction of the holy temple. Wherever ye are, turn your faces in that direction. The people of the book Bible know well that that is the truth from their Lord. Cross reference, 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 29 to 30. That thine eyes may be open toward this house night and day, even toward the place of which thou hast said, My name shall be there, that thou mayest hearken unto the prayer which thy servant shall make toward this place. And hearken thou to the supplication of thy servant, and of thy people Israel, when they shall pray toward this place, and hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and when thou hearest, forgive. End of cross reference. 2 Chronicles chapter 3 verse 1. Then Solomon began to build the house of the IAM at Jerusalem in Mount Moriah, where the IAM appeared unto David his father, in the place that David had prepared in the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. End of cross reference. Nor is God unaware of what they do. Even if thou wert to bring to the people of the book all the signs together, they would not follow thy sacrifice nor art thou going to follow their sacrifice nor indeed will they follow each other's sacrifice. If thou after the knowledge hath reached thee, wast to follow their vain desires, then wast thou indeed clearly in the wrong. The people of the book know this as they know their own sons, but some of them conceal the truth which they themselves know. The truth is from thy Lord, not from Satan, so be not at all in doubt. To each is a goal to which God turns him, then strive together as in a race towards all that is good. Wheresoever ye are, God will bring you together. For God hath power over all things. From whencesoever thou startest forth, turn thy face in the direction of the holy temple that is indeed the truth from the Lord and God is not unaware of what ye do. So from whencesoever thou startest forth, turn thy face in the direction of the holy temple and wheresoever ye are, turn your face thither, that there be no ground of dispute against you among the people, except those of them that are bent on wickedness, so fear them not, but fear me, and that I may complete my favours on you, and ye may consent to be guided. A similar favor have ye already received, in that we have sent among you a messenger of your own, rehearsing to you our signs, and sanctifying you, and instructing you in scripture and wisdom, and in new knowledge. Do ye remember me, then I will remember you. Be grateful to me, and reject not faith. O ye who believe, seek help with patient perseverance and prayer, for God is with those who patiently persevere and say not of those who are slain in the way of God. They are dead, nay, they are living, though ye perceive it not reincarnation. Be sure we shall test you with something of fear and hunger, some loss in goods or lives or the fruits of your toil, but we give glad tidings to those who patiently persevere, who say, when afflicted with calamity. To God we belong, and to Him is our return, they are those on whom descend blessings from God, and mercy, and they are the ones that receive guidance. Behold! Sapha being born again as your spirit being, cross reference, John chapter 3 verse 3 to 7. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb, and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water human, and then is born later, from above as his spirit being his real self which is not human, he can not enter into the kingdom of God who is a spirit being. That which is born of the flesh is human, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit a spirit being a human plus being. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. End of cross reference. And Marwa the water of life, cross reference, John chapter 4 verse 10.
Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. End of cross reference. Are among the symbols of God. So for those who visit the house in the season, it is no sin in them, if their mind should compass them round understand at other times. And if any one obeyeth his own impulse to good, be sure that God is he who recognizeth and knoweth. Those who conceal the clear signs we have sent down, and the guidance, after we have made it clear for the people in the book, on them shall be God's curse, and the curse of those entitled to curse, except those who repent and make amends and openly declare the truth to them I turn, for I am oft returning, most merciful. Those who reject faith, and die rejecting, on them is God's curse, and the curse of angels, and of all mankind, they will abide therein, their penalty will not be lightened, nor will respite be their lot. And your God is one God. There is no God but He, most gracious, most merciful. Behold! In the creation of the heavens and the earth, in the alternation of the night and the day, in the sailing of the ships through the ocean for the profit of mankind, in the rain which God sends down from the skies, and the life which he gives therewith to an earth that is dead, in the beasts of all kinds that he scatters through the earth, in the change of the winds, and the clouds which they trail like their slaves between the sky and the earth, here indeed are signs for a people that are wise. Yet there are men who take for worship others besides God, as equal with God, they love them as they should love God. But those of faith are overflowing in their love for God. If only the unrighteous could see, behold, they would see the penalty, that to God belongs all power, and God will strongly enforce the penalty. Then would those who are followed clear themselves of those who follow them. They would see the penalty, and all relations between them would be cut off. And those who followed would say, If only we had one more chance, we would clear ourselves of them, as they have cleared themselves of us, thus will God show them the fruits of their deeds as nothing but regrets. Nor will there be a way for them out of the fire. O oh, ye people! Eat of what is on earth, lawful and good and do not follow the footsteps of the evil one, for he is to you an avowed enemy. For he commands you what is evil and shameful, and that ye should say of God that of which ye have no knowledge. When it is said to them, Follow what God hath revealed, they say, Nay. We shall follow the ways of our fathers, what, even though their fathers were void of wisdom and guidance. The parable of those who reject faith is as if one were to shout like a goat herd, to things that listen to nothing but calls and cries, deaf, dumb, and blind, they are void of wisdom. O oh, ye who believe, eat of the good things that we have provided for you, and be grateful to God, if it is him ye worship. He hath only forbidden you dead meat, and blood, and the flesh of swine, and that on which any other name hath been invoked besides that of God. But if one is forced by necessity, without willful disobedience, nor transgressing due limits, then is he guiltless. For God is oft forgiving most merciful. Those who conceal God's revelations in the book, and purchase for them a miserable profit, they swallow into themselves naught but fire, God will not address them on the day of resurrection, nor purify them. Grievous will be their penalty. They are the ones who buy error in place of guidance and torment in place of forgiveness. Ah! What boldness they show for the fire! Their doom is because God sent down the book in truth but those who seek causes of dispute in the book Bible are in a schism far from the purpose. It is not righteousness that ye turn your faces towards east or west but it is righteousness to believe God and in the last day, and the angels, and the book, and the messengers to spend of your substance, out of love for him, for your kin, for orphans, for the needy, for the wayfarer, for those who ask, and for the ransom of slaves, to be steadfast in prayer, and practice regular charity, to fulfill the contracts which ye have made, and to be firm and patient, in pain or suffering and adversity, and throughout all periods of panic. Such are the people of truth, the God-fearing. O ye who believe! 
The law of equality is prescribed to you in cases of murder. The free for the free, the slave for the slave, the woman for the woman. But if any remission is made by the brother of the slain, then grant any reasonable demand, and compensate him with handsome gratitude. This is a concession and a mercy from your Lord. After this whoever exceeds the limits shall be in grave penalty. In the law of equality there is saving of life to you, O ye men of understanding, that ye may restrain yourselves. It is prescribed, when death approaches any of you, if he leave any goods, that he make a bequest to parents and next of kin, according to reasonable usage, this is due from the God-fearing. If anyone changes the bequest after hearing it, the guilt shall be on those who make the change. For God hears and knows all things. But if anyone fears partiality or wrongdoing on the part of the testator, and makes peace between the parties concerned, there is no wrong in him, for God is oft forgiving, most merciful. O ye who believe! Fasting is prescribed to you as it was prescribed to those before you, that ye may learn self-restraint, fasting for a fixed number of days, but if any of you is ill, or on a journey, the prescribed number should be made up from days later. For those who can do it with hardship, is a ransom, the feeding of one that is destitute. But he that will give more, of his own free will, it is better for him. And it is better for you that ye fast, if ye only knew. Ramadan is the month in which was sent down the Quran, as a guide to mankind, also clear signs for guidance and judgment between right and wrong. So every one of you who is present at his home during that month should spend it in fasting, but if any one is ill, or on a journey, the prescribed period should be made up by days later. God intends every facility for you, He does not want to put you to difficulties. He wants you to complete the prescribed period, and to glorify Him in that He has guided you, and perhaps ye shall be grateful. When my servants ask thee concerning me, I am indeed close to them. I listen to the prayer of every supplicant when he calleth on me, let them also, with a will, listen to my call, and believe me, that they may walk in the right way. Permitted to you, on the night of the fasts, is the approach to your wives. They are your garments and ye are their garments. God knoweth what ye used to do secretly among yourselves but he turned to you and forgave you, so now associate with them, and seek what God hath ordained for you, and eat and drink, until the white thread of dawn appears to you distinct from its black thread, then complete your fast till the night appears, but do not associate with your wives while ye are in retreat for prayer. Those are limits set by God. Approach not nigh thereto. Thus doth God make clear his signs to men, that they may learn self-restraint. And do not eat up your property among yourselves for vanities, nor use it as bait for the judges, with intent that ye may eat up wrongfully and knowingly a little of other people's property. They ask thee concerning the new moons. Say, they are but signs to mark fixed periods of time in the affairs of men, and for pilgrimage. It is no virtue if ye enter your houses from the back, it is virtue if ye fear God. Enter houses through the proper doors, and fear God, that ye may prosper. Fight in the cause of God those who fight you, but do not transgress limits, for God loveth not transgressors. And slay them wherever ye catch them, and turn them out from where they have turned you out, for tumult and oppression are worse than slaughter, but fight them not at the holy temple, unless they first fight you there, but if they fight you, slay them. Such is the reward of those who suppress faith. But if they cease, God is oft forgiving, most merciful and fight them on until there is no more tumult or oppression, and there prevail justice and faith in God, but if they cease, let there be no hostility except to those who practice oppression. The prohibited month for the prohibited month, and so for all things prohibited, there is the law of equality. If then any one transgresses the prohibition against you, transgress ye likewise against him. But fear God, and know that God is with those who restrain themselves.
and spend of your substance in the cause of God, and make not your own hands contribute to your destruction, but do good, for God loveth those who do good, and complete the pilgrimage or pilgrimage in the service of God. But if ye are prevented from completing it, send an offering for sacrifice, such as ye may find, and do not shave your heads until the offering reaches the place of sacrifice. And if any of you is ill, or has an ailment in his scalp, necessitating shaving, he should in compensation either fast, or feed the poor, or offer sacrifice, and when ye are in peaceful conditions again, if any one wishes to continue the pilgrimage unto the pilgrimage, he must make an offering, such as he can afford, but if he cannot afford it, he should fast three days during the pilgrimage and seven days on his return, making ten days in all. This is for those whose household is not in the precincts of the holy temple. And fear God, and know that God is strict in punishment. For the pilgrimage are the months well known. If any one undertakes that duty therein, let there be no obscenity, nor wickedness, nor wrangling in the pilgrimage. And whatever good ye do, be sure God knoweth it and take a provision with you for the journey, but the best of provisions is right conduct. So fear me, O ye that are wise. It is no crime in you if ye seek of the bounty of your Lord during pilgrimage. Then when ye pour down from Mount Arafat, celebrate the praises of God at the holy place, and celebrate his praises as he has directed you, even though, before this, ye went astray. Then pass on at a quick pace from the place whence it is usual for the multitude so to do, and ask for God's forgiveness. For God is oft forgiving, most merciful. So when ye have accomplished your holy rites, celebrate the praises of God, as ye used to celebrate the praises of your fathers, yea, with far more heart and soul. There are men who say, Our Lord, give us thy bounties in this world but they will have no portion in the hereafter. And there are men who say, Our Lord, give us good in this world and good in the hereafter, and defend us from the torment of the fire. To these will be allotted what they have earned, and God is quick in account. Celebrate the praises of God during the appointed days. But if any one hastens to leave in two days, there is no blame on him, and if any one stays on, there is no blame on him, if his aim is to do right. Then fear God, and know that ye will surely be gathered unto him. There is the type of man whose speech about this world's life may dazzle thee, and he calls God to witness about what is in his heart, yet is he the most contentious of enemies. When he turns his back, his aim everywhere is to spread mischief through the earth and destroy crops and cattle. But God loveth not mischief. When it is said to him, Fear God, he is led by arrogance to more crime. Enough for him is hell, an evil bed indeed to lie on. And there is the type of man who gives his life to earn the pleasure of God, and God is full of kindness to his devotees. O oh, ye who believe! Enter into doing God's will wholeheartedly, and follow not the footsteps of the evil one, for he is to you an avowed enemy. If ye backslide cross -reference, Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 11 to 12. And the IAM said unto me, The backsliding Israel hath justified herself more than treacherous Judah Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north, and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel, set the I am, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, set the I am, and I will not keep anger forever. End of cross reference. After the clear signs have come to you, then know that God is exalted in power, wise. Will they wait until God comes to them in canopies of clouds, with angels in his train and the question is thus settled? But to God do all questions go back for decision. Ask the children of Israel how many clear signs. We have sent them. But if any one, after God's favor has come to him, substitutes something else, God is strict in punishment. The life of this world is alluring to those who reject faith, and they scoff at those who believe. 
but the righteous will be above them on the day of resurrection, for God bestows his abundance without measure on whom he will. Mankind was one single nation, and God sent messengers with glad tidings and warnings, and with them he sent the book Torah in truth, to judge between people in matters wherein they differed, but the people of the book, after the clear signs came to them, did not differ among themselves, except through selfish contumacy. God by his grace guided the believers to the truth, concerning that wherein they differed. For God guides whom he will to the way that is straight. Or do ye think that ye shall enter the garden of bliss without such trials as came to those who passed away before you? They encountered suffering and adversity, and were so shaken in spirit that even the messenger and those of faith who were with him cried. When will come the help of God? Ah! Verily, the help of God is always near. They ask thee what they should spend in charity. Say, whatever ye spend that is good, is for parents and kindred and orphans and those in want and for wayfarers. And whatever ye do that is good, God knoweth it well. Fighting is prescribed for you, and ye dislike it. But it is possible that ye dislike a thing which is good for you, and that ye love a thing which is bad for you. But God knoweth, and ye know not which is which. They ask thee concerning fighting in the prohibited month. Say, fighting therein is a grave offense, but graver is it in the sight of God to prevent access to the way of God, to deny him, to prevent access to the holy temple, and drive out its members. Tumult and oppression are worse than slaughter. Nor will they cease fighting you until they turn you back from your faith if they can. And if any of you turn back from their faith and die in unbelief, their works will bear no fruit in this life, and in the hereafter they will be companions of the fire, and will abide therein. Those who believed and those who suffered exile and fought and strove and struggled in the way of God, they have the hope of the mercy of God, and God is oft forgiving, most merciful. They ask thee concerning wine and gambling. Say, in them is great sin, and some profit, for men, but the sin is greater than the profit. They ask thee how much they are to spend, in charity. Say, what is surplus to your needs, thus doth God make clear to you his signs, in order that ye may consider, their bearings, on this life and the hereafter. They ask thee concerning orphans. Say, the best thing to do is what is for their good, if ye mix their affairs with yours, they are your brethren, but God knows the man who means mischief from the man who means good. And if God had wished, he could have put you into difficulties. He is indeed exalted in power, wise, do not marry unbelieving women idolaters, until they believe. A slave woman who believes is better than an unbelieving woman, even though she allures you nor marry your girls to unbelievers until they believe, a man-slave who believes is better than an unbeliever, even though he allures you. Unbelievers do only beckon you to the fire. But God beckons by his grace to the garden of bliss and forgiveness, and makes his signs clear to mankind, that they may celebrate his praise. They ask thee concerning women's courses. Say, they are a hurt and a pollution. So keep away from women in their courses, and do not approach them until they are clean. But when they have purified themselves, ye may approach them in any manner, time, or place ordained for you by God. For God loves those who turn to him constantly and he loves those who keep themselves pure and clean. Your wives are as a tilth unto you, so approach your tilth when or how ye will, but do some good act for your souls beforehand, and fear God, and know that ye are to meet him in the hereafter, and give these good tidings to those who believe. And make not God's name an excuse in your oaths against doing good, or acting rightly, or making peace between persons, for God is one who heareth and knoweth all things. God will not call you to account for thoughtlessness in your oaths, but for the intention in your hearts, and he is oft forgiving, most forbearing. For those who take an oath for abstention from their wives, awaiting for four months is ordained, if then they return, God is oft forgiving, most merciful. 
but if their intention is firm for divorce, God heareth and knoweth all things. Divorced women shall wait concerning themselves for three monthly periods. Nor is it lawful for them to hide what God hath created in their wombs, if they have faith in God and the last day. And their husbands have the better right to take them back in that period, if they wish for reconciliation. And women shall have rights similar to the rights against them, according to what is equitable, but men have a degree of advantage over them. And God is exalted in power, and in wisdom. A divorce is only permissible twice, after that, the parties should either hold together on equitable terms, or separate with kindness. It is not lawful for you, men, to take back any of your gifts from your wives, except when both parties fear that they would be unable to keep the limits ordained by God. If ye judges do indeed fear that they would be unable to keep the limits ordained by God, there is no blame on either of them if she gives something for her freedom. These are the limits ordained by God, so do not transgress them. If any do transgress the limits ordained by God, such persons wrong themselves as well as others. So if a husband divorces his wife irrevocably, he cannot, after that, remarry her until after she has married another husband and he has divorced her. In that case there is no blame on either of them if they reunite, provided they feel that they can keep the limits ordained by God. Such are the limits ordained by God, which he makes plain to those who understand. When ye divorce women, and they fulfill the term of their abstinence from sexual relations it it, either take them back on equitable terms or set them free on equitable terms but do not take them back to injure them, or to take undue advantage if any one does that he wrongs his own soul. Do not treat God's signs as a jest, but solemnly rehearse God's favors on you, and the fact that he sent down to you the book and wisdom, for your instruction and fear God, and know that God is well acquainted with all things. When ye divorce women, and they fulfill the term of their abstinence from sexual relations it it, do not prevent them from marrying their former husbands, if they mutually agree on equitable terms. This instruction is for all amongst you, who believe God and in the last day. That is the course making for most virtue and purity amongst you and God knows, and ye know not. The mothers shall give suck to their offspring for two whole years, if the father desires to complete the term. But he shall bear the cost of their food and clothing on equitable terms. No soul shall have a burden laid on it greater than it can bear. No mother shall be treated unfairly on account of her child nor father on account of his child, an heir shall be chargeable in the same way. If they both decide on weaning, by mutual consent, and after due consultation, there is no blame on them. If ye decide on a foster mother for your offspring, there is no blame on you, provided ye pay the mother what ye offered, on equitable terms. But fear God and know that God sees well what ye do. If any of you die and leave widows behind, they shall wait concerning themselves four months and ten days, when they have fulfilled their term, there is no blame on you if they dispose of themselves in a just and reasonable manner. And God is well acquainted with what ye do. There is no blame on you if ye make an offer of betrothal or hold it in your hearts. God knows that ye cherish them in your hearts, but do not make a secret contract with them except in terms honorable, nor resolve on the tie of marriage till the term prescribed is fulfilled. And know that God knoweth what is in your hearts, and take heed of him, and know that God is oft forgiving, most forbearing. There is no blame on you if ye divorce women before consummation or the fixation of their dower, but bestow on them a suitable gift, the wealthy according to his means, and the poor according to his means, a gift of a reasonable amount is due from those who wish to do the right thing. And if ye divorce them before consummation, but after the fixation of a dower for them, then the half of the dower is due to them, unless they remit it or the man's half is remitted by him in whose hands is the marriage tie, and the remission of the man's half is the nearest to righteousness. 
and do not forget open-handedness between yourselves. For God sees well all that ye do. Guard strictly your habit of prayers, especially the middle prayer and stand before God in a devout frame of mind. If ye fear an enemy, pray on foot, or riding, as may be most convenient, but when ye are in security, celebrate God's praises in the manner he has taught you, which ye knew not before. Those of you who die and leave widows should bequeath for their widows a year's maintenance and residence, but if they leave the residence, there is no blame on you for what they do with themselves, provided it is reasonable. And God is exalted in power, and in wisdom. For divorced women maintenance should be provided on a reasonable scale. This is a duty on the righteous. Thus doth God make clear his signs to you, in order that ye may understand. Didst thou not turn by vision to those who abandoned their homes, though they were thousands in number, for fear of death? God said to them, Die, then he restored them to life. For God is full of bounty to mankind, but most of them are ungrateful. Then fight in the cause of God, and know that God heareth and knoweth all things. Who is he that will loan to God a beautiful loan, which God will double unto his credit and multiply many times? It is God that giveth you want or plenty, and to him shall be your return. Hast thou not turned thy vision to the chiefs of the children of Israel after the time of Moses? They said to a prophet that was among them, Appoint for us a king, that we may fight in the cause of God. He said, Is it not possible, if ye were commanded to fight, that that ye will not fight? They said, How could we refuse to fight in the cause of God, seeing that we were turned out of our homes and our families? But when they were commanded to fight, they turned back, except a small band among them. But God has full knowledge of those who do wrong. Their prophet said to them, God hath appointed to loot Saul as king over you. They said, How can he exercise authority over us when we are better fitted than he to exercise authority, and he is not even gifted, with wealth and abundance? He said, God hath chosen him above you, and hath gifted him abundantly with knowledge and bodily prowess. God granteth his authority to whom he pleaseth. God careth for all, and he knoweth all things. And further, their prophet said to them, A sign of his authority is that there shall come to you the Ark of the Covenant, with an assurance therein of security from your Lord, and the relics left by the family of Moses and the family of Aaron, carried by angels. In this is a symbol for you if ye indeed have faith. When Talut Saul set forth with the armies, he said, God will test you at the stream, if any drinks of its water, he goes not with my army, only those who taste not of it go with me, a mere sip out of the hand is excused. But they all, except a few, drank of it. When they crossed the river, he and the faithful ones with him, they said, This day we cannot cope with Goliath and his forces. But those who were convinced that they must meet God, said, how oft, by God's will, hath a small force vanquished a big one? God is with those who steadfastly persevere. When they advanced to meet Goliath and his forces, they prayed, Our Lord, pour out constancy on us and make our steps firm. Help us against those that reject faith, by God's will they routed them, and David slew Goliath, and God gave him power and wisdom and taught him whatever else. He willed. And if God did not stop one set of people by means of another, the earth would indeed be full of mischief, but God is full of bounty to all the worlds. These are the signs of God. We rehearse them to thee in truth, verily thou art one of the apostles' messengers. Those apostles we endowed with gifts, some above others. To one of them God spoke, others he raised to degrees of honor, to Jesus the Son of Mary we gave clear signs, and reinforced him with the Holy Spirit the Spirit of Christ. If God had so willed, succeeding generations would not have fought among each other, after clear signs had come to them, but they chose to wrangle, some believing and others rejecting. 
If God had so willed, they would not have fought each other, but God fulfilleth his plan. O ye who believe, spend out of the bounties we have provided for you, before the day comes when no bargaining will avail, nor friendship nor intercession. Those who reject faith, they are the wrongdoers. The I am YHWH Allah. There is no God but He, the living, the self-existing YHWH in Hebrew, I am in English, eternal. No slumber can seize Him nor sleep. His are all things in the heavens and on earth. Who is there can intercede in his presence except as he permitteth? He knoweth what appeareth to his creatures as before or after or behind them. Nor shall they compass aught of his knowledge except as he willeth. His throne doth extend over the heavens and the earth, and he feeleth no fatigue in guarding and preserving them for he is the Most High, the Supreme in glory. Let there be no compulsion in religion. Truth stands out clear from error, whoever rejects evil and believes God hath grasped the most trustworthy handhold, that never breaks. And God heareth and knoweth all things. God is the protector of those who have faith, from the depths of darkness he will lead them forth into light. Of those who reject faith the patrons are the evil ones cross-reference, Enoch chapter 15 verse 8, now the giants, who have been born of spirit and of flesh, shall be called upon earth evil spirits, and on earth shall be their habitation. Evil spirits shall proceed from their flesh, because they were created from above, from the holy watchers was their beginning and primary foundation. Evil spirits demons shall they be upon earth, and the spirits of the wicked shall they be called. The habitation of the spirits of heaven shall be in heaven, but upon earth shall be the habitation of terrestrial spirits, who are born in earth. End of cross-reference. From light they will lead them forth into the depths of darkness. They will be companions of the fire, to dwell therein forever. Hast thou not turned thy vision to one who disputed with Abraham about his Lord, because God had granted him power? Abraham said, My Lord is he who giveth life and death. He said, I give life and death, said Abraham. But it is God that causeth the sun to rise from the east, can thou then cause it to rise from the west? Thus was he confounded who, in arrogance, rejected faith. Nor doth God give guidance to a people unjust. Or, take the similitude of one who passed by a hamlet, all in ruins to its roofs. He said, Oh! How shall God bring it ever to life, after this its death? But God caused him to die for a hundred years, then raised him up again. He said, How long didst thou tarry thus? He said, Perhaps a day or part of a day. He said, Nay, thou hast tarried thus a hundred years but look at thy food and thy drink, they show no signs of age, and look at thy donkey, and so that we may make of thee a sign unto the people, look further at the bones, how we bring them together and clothe them with flesh cross-reference, Ezekiel chapter 37. The hand of the I Am was upon me, and carried me out in the spirit of the I Am, and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about, and, behold, there were very many in the open valley, and, lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord I Am, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the I Am. Thus saith the Lord I Am unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the I Am. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. 
Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord I am, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel, behold, they say, Our bones are dried, and our hope is lost, we are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord I am, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves, and cause you to come up out of your graves, and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the I am, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land, then shall ye know that I the I am have spoken it, and performed it, saith the I am. The word of the I am came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick, and write upon it, for Judah, and for the children of Israel his companions two tribes. Then take another stick, and write upon it, for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel his companions the ten lost tribes, and join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand cross-reference, Genesis chapter 49 verse 10. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord I am, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the ten tribes of Israel his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah two tribes, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. And the sticks whereon thou writtest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord I am, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, where they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all cross -reference, ch. 35 to 10 neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols nor with their detestable things nor with any of their transgressions but i will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them so shall they be my people and i will be their god and my well beloved servant shall be king over them and they all shall have one shepherd they shall also walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them, and they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they, and their children, and their children's children for ever, and my well-beloved servant shall be their prince cross-reference, Daniel chapter 10 verse 21 for ever. Moreover I will make a covenant of peace with them, it shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will place them, and multiply them, and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them for evermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them, yea, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I the I am do sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them for evermore. End of cross reference. When this was shown clearly to him, he said, I know that God hath power over all things, behold. Abraham said, My Lord, show me how thou givest life to the dead. He said, Dost thou not then believe? He said, Yea, but to satisfy my own undertaking. He said, Take four birds, tame them to return to thee, put a portion of them on every hill, and call to them, they will come to thee flying with speed. Then know that God is exalted in power, and in wisdom. The parable of those who spend their substance in the way of God is that of a grain of corn. It groweth seven ears, and each ear hath a hundred grains. God giveth manifold increase to whom he pleaseth. And God careth for all and he knoweth all things.
Those who spend their substance in the cause of God, and follow not up their gifts with reminders of their generosity or with injury, for them their reward is with their Lord, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Kind words and the covering of faults are better than charity followed by injury. God is free of all wants, and he is most forbearing. O ye who believe! Cancel not your charity by reminders of your generosity or by injury, like those who spend their substance to be seen by men, but believe neither God nor in the last day. They are in parable like a hard, barren rock, on which is a little soil cross-reference, Matthew chapter 13 verse 5. 13 to 5 Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. End of cross reference. On it falls heavy rain, which leaves it just a bare stone. They will be able to do nothing with aught they have earned. And God guideth not those who reject faith and the likeness of those who spend their substance, seeking to please God and to strengthen their souls, is as a garden, high and fertile, heavy rain falls on it but makes it yield a double increase of harvest, and if it receives not heavy rain, light moisture suffice that cross reference, Matthew chapter 13 verse 8. 13 to 8 But other fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. End of cross reference. God seeth well whatever ye do. Does any of you wish that he should have a garden with date palms and vines and streams flowing underneath, and all kinds of fruit, while he is stricken with old age, and his children are not strong enough to look after themselves that it should be caught in a whirlwind, with fire therein, and be burnt up? Thus doth God make clear to you his signs, that ye may consider. O ye who believe! Give of the good things which ye have honorably earned, and of the fruits of the earth which we have produced for you, and do not even aim at getting anything which is bad, in order that out of it ye may give away something, when ye yourselves would not receive it except with closed eyes. And know that God is free of all wants, and worthy of all praise. The evil one threatens you with poverty and bids you to conduct unseemly. God promiseth you his forgiveness and bounties. And God careth for all and he knoweth all things. He granteth wisdom to whom he pleaseth and he to whom wisdom is granted receiveth indeed a benefit overflowing, but none will grasp the message except men of understanding cross-reference, Daniel chapter 12 verse 10. Many shall be purified, and made white, and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And whatever ye spend in charity or devotion, be sure God knows it all. But the wrongdoers have no helpers. If ye disclose acts of charity, even so it is well, but if ye conceal them, and make them reach those really in need, that is best for you, it will remove from you some of your stains of evil. And God is well acquainted with what ye do. It is not required of thee, O messenger, to set them on the right path, but God sets on the straight way whom he pleaseth. Whatever of good ye give benefits your own souls, and ye shall only do so seeking the face of God. Whatever good ye give, shall be rendered back to you karma, sowing and reaping, cross-reference, Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth. That, shall he also reap. End of cross-reference. And ye shall not be dealt with unjustly. Charity is for those in need, who, in God's cause are restricted from travel, and cannot move about in the land, seeking for trade or work, the ignorant man thinks, because of their modesty, that they are free from want. Thou shalt know them by their unfailing mark. They beg not importunately from all and sundry. And whatever of good ye give, be assured God knoweth it well. Those who in charity, spend of their goods by night and by day, in secret and in public, have their reward with their Lord, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. 
Those who devour usury interest will not stand except as stands one whom the evil one by his touch hath driven to madness. That is because they say, Trade is like usury, but God hath permitted trade and forbidden usury. Those who after receiving direction from their Lord, desist, shall be pardoned for the past, their case is for God to judge, but those who repeat the offense are companions of the fire, they will abide therein forever. God will deprive usury interest of all blessing, but will give increase for deeds of charity, for he loveth not creatures ungrateful and wicked. Those who believe, and do deeds of righteousness, and establish constant prayer and regular charity, will have their reward with their Lord, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. O ye who believe! Fear God, and give up what remains of your demand for usury interest, if ye are indeed believers. If ye do this not, take notice of war from God and his messenger. But if ye turn back from usury, ye shall have your capital sums, deal not unjustly, and ye shall not be dealt with unjustly. If the debtor is in a difficulty, grant him time till it is easy for him to repay. But if ye remit it by way of charity, that is best for you if ye only knew. And fear the day when ye shall be brought back to God. Then shall every soul be paid what it earned, and none shall be dealt with unjustly. O ye who believe, when ye deal with each other, in transactions involving future obligations in a fixed period of time, reduce them to writing. Let a scribe write down faithfully as between the parties, let not the scribe refuse to write, as God has taught him, so let him write. Let him who incurs the liability dictate, but let him fear his Lord God, and not diminish aught of what he owes. If the party liable is mentally deficient, or weak, or unable himself to dictate, let his guardian dictate faithfully. And get two witnesses, out of your own men, and if there are not two men, then a man and two women, such as ye choose, for witnesses, so that if one of them errs, the other can remind her. The witnesses should not refuse when they are called on for evidence. Disdain not to reduce to writing your contract for a future period, whether it be small or big, it is more just in the sight of God, more suitable as evidence, and more convenient to prevent doubts among yourselves. But if it be a which ye carry out on the spot among yourselves, there is no blame on you if ye reduce it not to writing. But take witness whenever ye make a commercial contract, and let neither scribe nor witness suffer harm. If ye do such harm, it would be wickedness in you. So fear God, for it is God that teaches you. And God is well acquainted with all things. If ye are on a journey, and cannot find a scribe, a pledge with possession may serve the purpose. And if one of you deposits a thing on trust with another, let the trustee faithfully discharge his trust, and let him fear his Lord. Conceal not evidence for whoever conceals it, his heart is tainted with sin. And God knoweth all that ye do. To God belongeth all that is in the heavens and on earth. Whether ye show what is in your minds or conceal it from others, God calleth you to account for it. He forgiveth whom he pleaseth, and punisheth whom he pleaseth, for God hath power over all things. The messenger believeth in what hath been revealed to him from his Lord, as do the men of faith. Each one of them believeth God, his angels, his books, and his apostles. We make no distinction, they say, between one and another of his apostles, and they say, We hear, and we obey. We seek thy forgiveness, our Lord, and to thee is the end of all journeys, on no soul doth God place a burden greater than it can bear. It gets every good that it earns, and it suffers every ill that it earns. Pray, our Lord. Condemn us not if we forget or fall into error, our Lord. Lay not on us a burden like that which thou didst lay on those before us, our Lord. Lay not on us a burden greater than we have strength to bear. Blot out our sins, and grant us forgiveness. Have mercy on us. Thou art our protector, help us against those who stand against faith, King of Kings Bible, by Jah.